Hey guys and welcome back to Factorio. Bob's Mega Dong. Put that thing. <laughs> uh, all right, we've got a ton of belt. What was that? I came up here for a reason. Can't remember. Right, let's go back down. Uh, oh yeah, I came up here to get belt. No, I didn't. I came up here for ah, I came up here for steel. Because I was going to get a steel pickaxe. There we go. My little wooden one's nearly broke, so... Or iron. 18.9 left in it. Right, so we'll break that and then we'll get our steel one on the go. There we go. Back up to the tin. Yeah, there we go, that's that broke. There we go, at least that's a bit better. Not quite a diamond pickaxe, but it's definitely a pickaxe. Alright. Let's pop the rest of this crap out. Bonk bonk. Right, so we need tin in order to get the lead, so we can get the rest of our stuff on the way. <clears throat> Should I, oh crap, what am I missing? Just some steel, alright. Well let's shove this on. Um, let's go with this one here. There we go. And we'll just start pulling this down. Arrgh, get my way tree. Nothing stops the railway. Okay. And let's make a couple of them. And run all the way down. Oh shit, okay. Uh, that in there and that in there. I need to go and grab some more iron and some more copper. I didn't realise that we were we were short. I didn't realise we were short. Surprisingly, this is actually a scale. This guy is like what's that? Like two centimeters tall. Yeah, you didn't get that one, did you? You didn't see that one coming. All right. Sorted. Well, let's pop these in here. Right. Now we'll come over here and we'll start wiring up all of the uh, all of this tin, so we can get this tin going. Actually, before we do that, I'm going to go and grab some more steel so I can make another Mark II miner. What's the mining power? Is 4.5. Uh, okay, its mining speed is doubled and its power is um 50% increased. So yeah, that's the thing. Has mining power got to do with like the stuff it can mine, or is mining power? Like the amount it mines per once. Alright. Remove that and shove it here. Okay, and then boom, there's a the tent. <clears throat> Get my way tree. Doesn't make issues here. Try and make sure that we can. Try and make sure that we can actually get down this. And um, all right, police car, don't mind me. I'm not recording or anything. I wonder if you guys could actually hear that. If you could hear the police car, just give me a little poke. Just poke me. 
<laughs> just give me a wee poke in the in the comment section below and let me know if you could. Here's the police car. It's. Let's. We'll upgrade this one to the Mark II. The steel miner. There we are. Because they're they are more efficient. They're more power efficient. And therefore more uh, pollution efficient, which is imperative at this early juncture. Right, we've got nickel processing underway. We've got the tin should be making it this way up anytime. There we go. Whee! Alright, I'm gonna need you to come this way. We got a couple more of these. Boop boop. Alright, pull this all the way back down. Right, there we go. Ah, now the coal comes all the way around. There's nickel processing. Right, let's just see what we've got to get right now. See what we actually, like, imperatively have to get. On red. Probably nothing? Um, Not really. So let's go with long inserters right now. Alright. Uh, we'll start plugging all of these in. Okay. Boop. Boop. And boop. There we go. It's all plugged in. Right, now we need to go and mine some... Ungarlina. But in order to do that, I'm g we need some smart inserters. Uh, what am I coming to grab? Oh, yeah, steel. Yeah, I'm going to do some smart inserters. For main Galena. Hmm. Because that's the issue, isn't it? Because I need lead. But I don't want the nickel. Oh, nickel needs... Nickel doesn't get made the same way lead does. I mean, it's not that big a deal. As long as it is. Grab optics as well then. Alright. And we'll nip down and have a look at the Galena. Little Galena deposit. Yeah, so I need smart inserters to sort out the Galena, but at the same time I need... Uh, I need the Galena mined in order to get the lead to make the smart inserters. One of those chicken or egg things. Oh really, it's not a chicken or egg, it's a catch-22 is what it is. There we go. Uh, I'm so glad that I'm not using that crappy iron axe anymore. At least you can get to the steel, the steel axe pretty quickly. Let's research stone walls. Oops, I got it. Alright. I can't believe that on my Muller campaign I went with a, a diamond axe that I made relatively early on. And basically went with that. That one axe for the rest of the game. It's just the, the durability of those things is just incredible. There we go. Now that'll mean one of each. I mean, I suppose you could kind of kind of split it. I don't know. 
Uh, I bet I could find a way to split them, but... Are they equal? No, they're definitely not equal. So you couldn't split them properly forever. That sucks. Right, is all this red and green? Looks like it. Funny thing is, there's hardly any uh, just red, and then there's a ton of red and green. Okay, so let's uh, pick up as much of this as possible so we can get a decent amount of lead. And then we'll nip up and we'll cook some lead. Right. Let's pop over to here. Look at that, there we go. There we are. Half of that, give me half of that as well. There we are. Because then I'm going to use that in order to make us some solder so that I can then make us some smart inserters so that I can then uh, have this fed automatically. Right, I need a thingy furnace for that. Uh, I think it's a metal mixer I need. So I need stone bricks as well. God. Right, on you go. And uh, there's some stone for you. I might just make a... A stone one as well, to be fair. There we go. Oh, what's your eye? There we are. Alright, give me a metal mixing furnace. Yeah, maybe make one of these stone. I've decided I'm going to have uh, I'm going to have mixed lines and if I find a need for more of them, like I can't get the throughput, which I reckon I will be able to get the throughput, but if I find that I can't get the throughput, then I'll uh, I'll, then, I'll, I'll change it after the fact. Come on. Wait, can I ask you to make me total plates, please? There we go. I sold up many. Oh, you need seven? Jeez. It'll take up to 14 then. Yep. I'll take that up to eight. I need express inserters. Actually, I need fast inserters, but I can't do that without solder. So, what are these? These are made out of tinned copper wire and carbon. So, I am going to need tin. I'm also going to need carbon. Uh, and carbon are, is made in a chemical furnace. There we go. I'm just cooking down all of my, my stone. Alright. Now can I make... Not until I get some carbon. Huh. Oh, there you go. Let's just grab this and come down here. We'll come to the, uh... This area and grab an offshore pump. Unfortunately, I removed all the water that we had. There we go, we offshore pump here. Alright, chemical furnace, shove that there, ask for some carbon. Oh. Alright, now what can I make? I could probably make a pump pump. No, not yet. Ah, oh, probably I still can't make these. Oh, because they need to be made inside a... 
An assembler. Got you. And ten copper wire. Oh no, I feel like ten copper wire should be sent down the belt as well. I feel it's just one of those things that you make everywhere. I don't know, it's not hard to make though, which is the the reason I don't normally. We do have tin and lead on the same belt though. Hmm. I think about that one. Right. What am I gonna need? I'm gonna need some smart inserters. Wow, it costs thirty of them each smart inserter. That's ludicrous. I want you just to keep making them. Oh, man. Right, have I got enough for... I think I've got enough for another one. So I can have two of them. I'll shove that in there and let that just work through. I suppose I can shove that into a box as well. Shouldn't really... Won't really hurt. Come on, there's the last smart setter, and there's my box. There you go, you dump them into the box. Then I need... You that's filtered for... a nickel. Now you need to be filtered for... lead. Um. Change you to lead and change you to nickel. Right. Get rid of these and we'll pump this right up to the required area. I mean, that's a stupid box. There we go. Let's pull it to here. Go across. That's the thing, man. No wonder I use so many uh, underground belts. Jesus. Uh, let's get another five of them. Go across and there we go. Obviously, the rest of it won't actually work at the moment. We'll just box it up. All right. Let's try and get another couple of them. So many intermediate steps to make a smart inserter because I don't have any of the electronic boards getting made automatically. There we go. The issue is, it's still only going to function as long as. Uh, it's still only going to function as long as the boxes stay empty, or stay with space. Almost there. Alright. There we go. Okay, hopefully we can just keep going with that. <clears throat> and we won't use too much lead before we start heading on to nickel. <clears throat> if we do, then we're going to have issues. Right, but at least we're getting some lead through. Not going to be the greatest amount, but at least it's some. Okay, let's head down here and we'll make ourselves a pump. And that way this thing doesn't need to be attached to the... 
attached to the water. There we go. How are we doing for electricity? It looks fine to me. Yeah, it's completely fine. You need... Okay, I'm going to need to go and pick some more up. One, two... Three, four, there we go. We hardly have any more reds to be done. Uh, red signs. One, two, one, two, three, four. There we go. Just do your thing. And we should be good. Right, if we make three of these, we should be able to replace all of those. Thankfully we've got plenty of uh, plenty of basic electronic components now, so I can start upgrading everything to assembly machine twos. Alright, we should get one more. There we are. And hopefully that can sustain the three of them. Don't think it can, but there you go. Right, so I'm going to shove you here. And pop you there. And I ask you to bring me a stack of a stack of those. Right, we're all red and green now. That's possible apart from large area miners. Yep, and then these things. So let's grab large area miners and then we'll do the bullet upgrades, etc. Well, let's just make five of the better ones. That's stupid. Okay, it does that once and it gives me eight solder. Alright. We'll just start using fast inserters everywhere. Oh my god, it takes so many steps to make a fast inserter, it's crazy. Oh, uh, we really need to get back onto green, get onto green science and stuff. Actually get everything done properly. Get all our little automations done. But that's going to have to do us for this episode. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been CG. You've been awesome. And I'll see you next time.